Hi everyone. Today we will be discussing about the lab program one, which is to write a C program to print all the calculator operations using the switch statement. It has been mapped over your uh, course. First, we have to understand that we need to perform the calculator operations using the switch statement. This is the partial code uh, which has been given and it has been specifically asked to solve by using the switch statement only. First, let's try to understand what is our input and what are our outputs. The input is the first line of the input will be the program that prompts the user to enter an operator. That means user will be entering any of the operators like this. It can be a plus minus multiplication and division. It is for simple calculator. The second line, the user is then asked to input the two numbers. He has to input the two numbers. That is the second input, which we are going to take. What will be the output? If a valid operator is entered, the program performs the corresponding operations on two input numbers. For example, if plus is entered and if on, the addition has to be performed on the two numbers, which is inputted by the user. The result is displayed with two decimal places. That means the result should be in the, it is saying that two, two decimal places means the output should be in the floating point numbers, which we can understand. And it should print in this format where result is equal to, you need to print the result. And if the operator is invalid, that means other than these four operators like plus minus multiplication and division, if it is entered, it should display the error message saying that invalid operator. If the division by zero occurs, that means the denominator number is zero, then appropriate error message to be displayed saying that error division by zero is not allowed. Again, they are saying that they are giving the hint saying that round off to two decimal places. And these are some of the sample test cases which they have given. Let's see them. See, this is what they say. You enter an operator and you need to enter the operator and you need to ask the user to enter two numbers. If user is entering two numbers, then the result has to be printed as after addition, what is the result and so on. The second sample test case also says the same. Now let's try to solve this particular problem. They are giving some hints for us to solve this particular problem by using the C programming language. First, they are saying declare a variables. The first and foremost thing, enter an operator, it is saying. That means to read the operator, I'll be declaring a character variable. Since it is of type character, I'll be declaring a character variable. Since it is an operator, I'll be declaring it as op. And then saying that accept the operator from the user. <clears throat> To read any value from the user. So I'm using the input statement called a scanf. So since it is an operator of type character, so I'll be using percentage C and we know that to avoid the space conflicts, so we need to leave a space before it. Otherwise, any new line character or any space, spaces will be read as a character by your scanf function. And then I need to read it to the variable which I have declared. The variable which I have declared is operator, which is op. And again, it is asking you to read two numbers. Before that, let me declare those two numbers here. I'll be declaring those two numbers. Instead of declaring it as int, since my result will be in the time in the in the form of float, so I'll be declaring my two variables as of type float only. And I'll be making it as number one, and I'll be making it as number two. So I'll be declaring two variables, which is num one and other one is num two. It is asking to accept the two numbers. Similarly, how I have written, I'll be writing the scanf function to read them. So both are of type floating point numbers. So I'm giving the format specifiers as percentage f and percentage f, and I'll be reading the values to those, those two particular variables, num1 and num2. Once after this, as they are saying, it has to, this operation has to be performed by using the switch statement. So to enter into the switch statement, I need to just go with this operator and I need to compare with the operator. Since switch statement, the cases allows you to compare with character also and with numbers also. So let's go with the expression which I'm giving here is with respect to an operator only. And let's write our code here. Suppose if our operator is, I'll do one more thing after declaring these two variables for my uh, betterment, I'll be declaring one more variable called as result. Okay, just for simplification purpose, I'm declaring one more variable called as result to store the computed result of uh, this particular operation into that particular variable that's it. Now, the first case, what I'll be writing is, since it is an operator is of type character, I'll be placing them in a single quote. The operator is plus. What I need to do, I need to write result is equal to, result is equal to, I need to compute the sum of those two numbers. 
num1 plus num2 that's it and i'll break this particular case similarly i need to do for case minus also because minus is one more operator which is present i'll just do it as result is equal to again just num1 minus num2 again i need to break this particular operation similarly for multiplication sorry it's a character so i need to put it under single quotes now i am storing the computed result into the result variable where i'll be performing num1 which is a variable which is holding a value or i can say it is an operand one multiplied by i can say it as num2 and again i'll break this case no the case is for division in the division you can observe here they are giving a condition so if the division by 0 occurs that means if the denominator is 0 then you need to print an appropriate message saying that error division by 0 is not allowed so let's do that operation so if uh, number 2 that is the second operand is 0 0 then i need to print an error message saying that so what's the error message they are saying that error we need to print colon we need to say division by 0 is not allowed division by 0 is not allowed this is what we have to print i'll just give a new line character after this then i'll just break this particular statement i don't want to continue if this is not occurring then we'll write an else case in the else case, I'll perform the division operation. And we know how do we do the division operation. Just result is equal to number one is divided by number two. This is the operation we need to do. And I'll break this particular operation. Next. After this, again, we have another default case because we are also, they are also giving one more condition here for us saying that if any other operators apart from this, if any other operator or I can say any, any other operator than this, we need to print the error message saying that error invalid operator. So let's do that in a default case. I'll just write a printf function. I'll write a message saying that it is error colon invalid operator. Let me add a new line character and I'll break this default case as well. This completes our switch statement. I'll just close my switch statement here and it has been closed. And after performing all these operations, I need to print the result as well. So outside this, so how, how they're showing in the sample test case, they have to print it as result colon and the value to be printed with, I can say two decimal places. So I'll be doing that. So there they want the text to be printed as result followed by colon and you can see the result should be with one space just i'm giving the space and the format specifier for this is percentage since it has to be limited to two decimal places i'll be giving it as dot 2f and i'll use new line character as well comma so where the result is stored result is stored into the variable called as result and i'll just print that that's it no other operations to be done i'll just save this it has been it has been saved let's run and see Let's run and see. I'm running it. It is asking us to enter the operator. I'll be giving the operator as multiplication. Let's run this. Now it is asking for the numbers. I'll give numbers 2, comma, 3. See so the result is 6.0. It is perfectly printing. Let's run this again. I'll give my operator this time as another operator apart from this that is modulus operator and it has to take the numbers 21 and i'll give 23 now it is saying that invalid operator but it is trying to print the result which is not correct actually the result should not be printed here so what i'll do so in my output whenever the invalid operator is there the result should not be printed result should not be printed so that means something somewhere we have missed let's check what's the mistake i did so instead of adding this result statement here, I'll be adding this result statement after every calculation here only inside the every case statement. What's a mistake means? Because after completion of the switch statement, even though the invalid operator here default, it was trying to print that particular 
I can say uh, the message which I was trying to print, which is not absolutely a correct one. So only if the result is calculated, then only the result has to be printed. So that's why I'm adding inside the case statements everywhere. I'm just adding that here. Even after this calculation of division also, I'll just add that. Now let's run and see. Now let me run this. I'll give modulus operator. It is asking for numbers. I'll give two and three. Now it is saying invalid operator. No more I can say that result is being printed. This is correct now. Let's submit and see whether our submission is correct or not. I'll just close this. You go for the submission. If any cases are missing, we'll try to correct that. No, no cases are being missed. Everything is correct. So our submission is correct. This is how we perform. I can say simple calculator by using simple calculator by using switch statements. Thank you.